Opera soprano Marsha Thompson and baritone Jarrell Williams rehearsed Don Giovanni by Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart based on the legend of Don Juan. It is a scene where Don Giovanni has infiltrated a wedding where Cerlina is to, to wed Mazzetto and somehow he seduces her with his charm. la mano. Let me take your hand and show you my castle. And Giovanni, as we all know, is a playboy. And at the very end, he steals Zelina away from her fiance. Since the time of the great Marian Anderson and Todd Duncan, opera singers who fought segregation in the early 20th century to perform in the United States, young African Americans like Thompson and Williams have exploded onto the opera scene. While entertainers of color from their generation dominate the pop and R&B charts, they chose the multifaceted genre of opera. Marsha Thompson performed Imani Irvolamine at the Altamira Caruso Opera Competition in New York City. I chose opera because I started my career as a classical violinist. So it goes right in line with all of the other music that I've been studying my whole life. But opera singers most of the time can also sing other genre of music. So I can sing other things, but I am focused on opera. We come from different backgrounds generally, different genres of music, there's jazz, there's pop, there's R&B. Um, what I was, would explain to the children would be that I had the opportunity to work with such R&B singers such as Lauryn Hill. I just did a fashion show with Erica Badu last weekend. And so they would say, okay, what, what is that all about? And it's kind of like, well, you know, we do what we do because it's a specialized art form. It is very difficult to even get into uh, opera. <laughs> After early struggles for recognition, both feel that blacks have a place in opera. We are making our mark in the industry, definitely. We're winning lots of competitions, international competitions, and singing internationally as well. Um, I just returned from Russia. I sang with the Krasnoyarsk Philharmonic in Siberia, Russia in December. And that was an amazing opportunity to, to perform with my colleague and friend, Kevin Short, who's a baritone. And we did the Porgy and Bess Suite, which was televised there. So there is a place for African Americans in this profession and we are making our mark. When I was in high school, I had the great chance to work with the New York Voices playing piano for a concert we did in our Ross High School in Brentwood, Long Island. And um, my choir teacher said, well, you should consider taking up singing because you have a good voice. And I thought, okay, why not? I did the musicals and um, that was kind of my entryway into performing as a soloist. Um, because I was a pianist. And currently we're working, I'm working with uh, two other baritone colleagues of mine on a group called Legacy Secured, where we are the next generation of African-American baritone greats to walk in that line that they had, you know, that they've opened for us and to create a trend for African-American performers to have a way to sing at the biggest houses all over the world. With their talent in full bloom, the future is set for young blacks in opera. African American opera singers, we, what we have to offer is bringing the masses together, is actually bringing people together in an audience setting to appreciate an art form that is accessible to all people. And so uh, I, I want to focus on that more in my career as a singer and also as a community organizer. We are here, we're doing our thing, we're, we've been all over the world. As Marcia says, she's just come back from Russia. She's been to Dubai, she's been to Africa, Mozambique, um, of all places, and just and has just been singing, 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 and I've been playing and traveling and, and going all over. Um, you, you don't get any more professional than that. That's what we do, we're doing it. For schedules and performances, log on to MarciaThompson.com.
for Push Pause in New York City. This is Archie Snowden. Hey.